sketch the graph of the following radical functions. f of x is equal to the square root of x plus 14. The first thing that we're going to do is determine the domain, since this is an even function. I'm sorry, not even function, but an even radical. Let's find the domain. So if x plus 14 is greater than or equal to 0, then x is greater than or equal to negative 14. So when I set up my table of values, I'm going to start with negative 14. And if I substitute a negative 14, I'd have negative 14 plus 14 is 0. The square root of 0 is 0. Now I need to pick a few other nice numbers. So if we think, I want to take the square root of nice numbers. 0, 1, 4, 9. All right, perfect squares. 0, 1, 4, 9, 16, 25. So the good choices for x are going to be the numbers that will give me those perfect squares under the radical. So for example, if I were to pick negative 13 for x, negative 13 plus 14 is 1. So I'd have the square root of negative 13 plus 14. That's the square root of 1, which is 1. And then I'm going to pick negative 10 because the square root of negative 10 plus 14 is the square root of 4, which is 2. And then I'm going to pick negative 5. The square root of negative 5 plus 14, that's the square root of 9, which is 3. Now it gets easier now at 16, so I'm going to pick 2 for x. The square root of 16 is 4. And how about one more, 11. The square root of 25 is 5. So I'm going to plot those points, negative 14, 0, negative 13, 1, negative 10, 2, negative 5, 3, 2, 4, and 11, 5. And what I see from this is an even radical, an even root, and I will join them with a smooth curve that continues to the right. Again, I have an even root here. Square root of 7 minus x, so 7 minus x is greater than or equal to 0. Negative x is greater than or equal to negative 7. x is less than or equal to 7 is the domain. So my last x value will be 7. And if I input 7, I'd have the square root of 7 minus 7, which is the square root of 0, which is 0. Now, again, thinking of my perfect squares, 0, 1, 4, 9, 16, 25. What would I choose for x to make the inside, to make the radicand 1? I would choose 6. The square root of 7 minus 6, that's the square root of 1, which is 1. What would I choose for x to make the inside 4? I would choose 3. 3 would give me 2 as the output. What would I choose to make the inside 9? Negative 2. What would I choose to make the inside 16? Negative 9. And what would, I, what would I choose to make the inside 25? Uh, negative 18. Plotting these points, negative 18, 5. Negative 9, 4. Negative 2, 3. 3. 2, 6, 1, 7, 0. And drawing the curve through those points, and it continues on to the left. Now here we are given a cube root. It's an odd root, so it's going to go on forever in either direction. So now we want to think about perfect cubes. 
0, positive and negative 1, positive and negative 8. So now, sort of like finding the domain, I'm going to center on the value of x that makes the radicand 0, which is negative 3. Negative 3 would give me the cube root of negative 3 plus 3. That's the cube root of 0, which is 0. Now, what makes the inside 1? What makes the inside positive 1? negative 2. Cube root of negative 2 plus 3, that's the cube root of 1, which is 1. What makes the inside 8? 5 makes the inside 8, which would give me an output of 2. What makes the inside negative 1? Uh, let's see. To make the inside negative 1, the input would be negative 4. And what makes the inside negative 8? Uh, that would have to be, what, negative 11. Negative 11 plus 3 is negative 8. The cube root of negative 8 is negative 2. So here's a few points on the curve. Negative 11, negative 2. Negative 4, negative 1. Negative 3, 0, negative 2, 1, 5, 2. And we could find other points, but this is a good start. And we just kind of from there draw the general shape of a cubic, a cube root function. All right, one more. Negative, uh, f of x is negative square root of x minus 9. Again, let's determine the domain. So we would have x minus 9 is greater than or equal to 0, which means x is greater than or equal to 9. It's starting at 9. x versus f of x, 9. If I input 9, I would have 0 as the output. Remembering my perfect squares, I, I'm looking for 0, 1, 4, 9, 16, maybe 25. So what would make the inside 1? 10. So then I would have negative square root of 10 minus 9. That's negative square root of 1, which is negative 1. What would make the inside 4? Uh, 13 minus 9 is 4. So negative square root of 13 minus 9, negative square root 4, negative 2. What would make the inside 9? 18, negative 3. What would make the inside 16? Um, 25 minus 9 is 16. So negative 4, and I don't think we'll be able to get to 25 because that would give me, what, a 30, uh, 34 minus 9 is 25, and that's off our grid here. So let's just go with these points. 9, 0, 10, negative 1, 13, negative 2, 18, negative 3, 25, negative 4. All right, so we do see a general shape of a square root a radical and connecting the points with a smooth curve, and it continues on to the right.